hi guys so today i'm going to do my march favorites can't believe it's march craziness and my 2015 resolution kind of update um april is going to be an exciting month for me i do graduate in may but a lot of things are going to be happening in april so i did start a vlog channel i can link that down below those are going to be current vlogs this channel will still have vlogs for a few months months just getting caught up to that but if you want current vlogs to actually see what's actually happening in my life right now, I will link that vlog channel down below. Um, and we'll just get into my favorites. Since I've been doing empties every month, when it's favorites time, I always go and look in my empties basket just to see if there's any products I want to say something about that they were my favorite during that month because I finished them. And if I want to add them in. So there were two products this month that are from my empties, which you will see next Tuesday. Um, but I thought I would add them into this because they are my favorites and I want to say a few more things before they go. So the first thing was in my project pan. I am on a project pan right now. I will link that playlist down below. But if you watched my update last Thursday, you saw that I finished this St. Ives Naturally Clear Apricot Scrub Blemish and Blackhead Control. It just looks like this. I've had this for so long. I realized it expired in October of 2013. So when I say so long, I mean a long time. I'm not just, you know, I've had it for so long a year. No. I'm talking years, um, but I really like this stuff. What I would do um, is I would mix this in with my cleanser every morning and just a little bit of this with my cleanser and it worked so well. It was a little bit of exfoliating, but at the same time it wasn't super harsh so I could use it every morning and then sometimes even at night. Um, I really like this. I tried to use it on its own um, one, sorry my cat, one morning and it was just too harsh on my skin. My skin needs um, kind of a cleanser and a scrub mixed in. My skin does do really well, like exfoliating every day. But I'm, this by itself was too harsh, but with the cleanser it was perfect. And it's definitely going to be missed. I have a few other um, face scrubs and exfoliants that, I need, that I'm working on right now. And I definitely miss this just the way it is. It's kind of a creamy, chunky formula, but I really, really liked it. The next empty was something that actually wasn't in my project pan because originally when I started my project pan in January, I didn't think this would take very long to complete. Little did I know that this has so much product in it and it's the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation with Salicylic Acid, Witch Hazel, Camphor, Tea Tree, and Aloe. It just looks like this. This is the perfect color for me. It was actually a little bit light, so I added in a BB cream that was a little bit darker. And I really, really like this stuff. This stuff is better in the summer for me personally because especially this winter, my face got super, super dry. And this is a full coverage foundation, which I love, but it was kind of like, could look cakey and drying when my face was already dry. This was, um not the best like mo not the most flattering foundation so i was trying to use this up in january and february when my face was super dry so i just added a little bit more bb cream in um with this foundation and it worked well but i would definitely recommend it if you want a full coverage foundation a cheap one um like i said it does look if you have drier patches it will cling to that but it is amazing and I love it. It stays on for so long, the foundation that's in my project pan now. It's a Maybelline Fit Me one and it does not stay as long as this and I miss this so much. I'll definitely have to repurchase it and it's only like $6 I think. It might be 3 but I think it's 6 This next thing is in my project pan and it's the Wet n Wild Mega Eyes Cream Eyeshadow in Wild Orchid. If you can tell, it's not a cream eyeshadow anymore. I've had this for so long and I debated getting rid of this, but I found so many ways to use it that I just, and it works well. It doesn't irritate my skin. So I decided to keep it. It is really messy since it's not like that thick consistency anymore, but I use it as a highlight. I use it like after I put on my face primer. I just put it all over my skin and just it, then when I put on my foundation, it kind of gives it a glowy look. Today, I actually put it on as a highlight. 
And then after I put on my Bad to the Bronze Cream Eyeshadow, which I can use. I'm so excited. Um, I love that stuff as well. But I put this over it and it just gives it, it looks gorgeous. Because that Bad to the Bronze is a, you know, dark bronze color. And this just really lightens it up. And it makes it perfect for the springtime. Um, so, yeah, I've been really enjoying this. It is really, really messy. And I don't even know if they make these anymore. But the next um, thing is a eyeshadow palette that is also in my project pan. This is the e.l.f. Eye Brightening Eyeshadow Quad in Naturals. Or ne in Neutrals. And they do have, um, they don't sell this exact one anymore. But they have ones that's very similar, and this, I think, is just a dollar. These are gorgeous. The green has a lot of pigmentation. It's really hard to get these all out. The green has a lot of pigmentation, if you can tell. Um, and then the bluish silver color also has a pretty good pigmentation. And then these two brown ones are just perfect um, because the other eyeshadow palette in my project pan is matte. And these have just been wonderful to add on top as a highlight, um, at, you know, and add some sparkle because I like sparkle on my face. And having a matte eyeshadow palette, which one I'm working on, and these work just perfectly together. And I really, really like them, and you can't go wrong for a dollar. Like I said, they don't make this one anymore, but they have other ones that are very, very similar to this. So, yeah, those were... Those were my March favorites. Now we're going to go into my 2015 resolution update. So if you didn't see my 2015 resolution video, I can link it down below. Um, but since I've been on a project pan and my favorites videos aren't that long and I don't have that many products, I've decided to add in my, like, a resolution update. It keeps me accountable and gives you some more content. Um, so I had two resolutions. The first one was kind of like declutter. Um, we are moving in May. I still don't know where. There's a good chance we'll be going back to our hometown. But in any case, I don't want to bring in a lot of stuff. I want to get rid of some stuff. Um, before we move but since we might just be moving two hours away we don't have to get rid of as much stuff like for example the grill we weren't going to take it like cross country but if we only move two hours away we're going to be taking the grill those type of things that um if we did move cross country we weren't going to take but now we probably will take um but i don't think i bought anything this month makeup or beauty related than I remember. Um, so that's good. I did buy um, two dresses yesterday at Target with a gift card, but that <laughs> that is because I have Easter and graduation coming up and I found two dresses for those, like one for each of those occasions. So I'm really excited. I really, really like those dresses, but I did have a gift card for that. So that was super exciting. And yeah, so that was pretty much the only purchases I've made. I went through my clothes a little bit over spring break because I did have spring break in March and I kind of got rid of a few things, um, but nothing huge. Um, just a few scarves, I believe. Um, so... Yeah, that one isn't like terrible, but it's not great, I guess. Uh, and I just, a lot of it is I'm waiting to see where I get a job at and where we end up moving to see the storage situation and like the closet situation and things like that just to see what's going on um, so I can help, I can plan better and if I don't have room for all this stuff, I can tell myself I don't have room, I need to get rid of this stuff. So, yes, um... We did start packing boxes. If you are, if you follow my Instagram, it's linked down below. I did show like the first box we packed. So we did start packing over spring break. We got most of like the kitchen stuff that we're not going to use um, packed up and a few books that we, um, we knew we weren't going to read or um, the boxes started like taking over where the books are at. So we had to pack up the books. So yeah, um... We started packing a little bit for that. And then my other goal was to 
um, be more confident, I guess. And I've been working on that in a few ways. I am student teaching this semester. So I've been really um, talking to my te my cooperating teacher um, about how I can improve in that way. And just like when I improve in that way, it makes me confident to do that, I guess, if that makes sense. And I'm trying to be a little bit more outgoing and proactive in that. I'm pretty sure my teacher thinks I'm an outgoing person, which I can like portray that but in reality I'm like oh not outgoing so yes and then I also started a workout thing um that's all I'm gonna tell you because uh, I think workouts for me are really personal and I don't want to say I'm doing this and you know I personally my personal preference if you want to share what you're doing for a workout that's fine or your times or whatever i just don't personally find that motivating i find that terrifying um if i said you know i ran a mile in this amount of time people are like oh yeah that's terrible you know and i just do it personally for me i record what like how long i run and or whatever workout i do and then i can see it versus other ones and that helps me um sharing it doesn't it makes me not want to work out to be honest with you so I, if I say it worked out that's all you're getting for that so um yeah even like my husband is probably one of the only other people that know but that's only because he works out with me so it's not that hard to like look over at like my machine you know and so yes <laughs> there's that or like if we're doing weights or something you know he's like yeah so anyways that's that um so i think i'm doing pretty well this month and yeah so that's it for my 2015 resolution update and my march favorites this video is a little bit longer i think than i would like it to be but i hope you enjoyed anyways let me know how you're sticking to your resolutions if you made any or just like goals um so yeah i will talk to you later i hope you have a wonderful day bye